Jumping Spiders, written by James Gerholt, better read by Mrs. Angelo. Contents, Jumping Spider, 4, size is 6, shapes, 8, colors, 10, where they live, 12, senses, 14, defense, 16, food, 18, babies, 20, glossary, 22, index, 23, bibliography, 24. Jumping spiders. Jumping spiders belong to one of 84 spider families. A spider is an arachnid. It has two body parts and eight legs. A spider is also an arthropod. Its skeleton is on the outside of its body. All spiders get their body temperature from the environment. Most jumping spiders are found in the Earth's temperate, warm, and tropical hot zones. Jumping spiders are found all over the world. There are about 37,000 species of spiders in the world. More than 5,000 of these are jumping spiders. They are found worldwide, but are most common in the tropics. About 300 species are found north of Mexico. Jumping spiders are small, but they can make spectacular leaps. Sizes. Jumping spiders are small to medium-sized spiders. The average is 3 16th of an inch long. The daring jumping spider is found east of the Rocky Mountains. It is only a half of an inch long. The longest of all jumping spiders is called the regal jumping spider. It comes from the southeast United States and reaches a length of almost three quarters of an inch. Jumping spiders are small to medium sized spiders. Shapes. Most jumping spiders have heavy bodies. A few are very slender. Some look like ants. They have two body parts that may be round or oval. The head and the thorax are combined into the front body part called the cephalothorax. The rear body part is called the abdomen where the spinnerets are found. The spinnerets are, uh, make the spider's silk. Abdomen, spinnerets, thorax, head, cephalothorax, penny pops, chelsery. All spiders have the same features. Most jumping spiders have heavy, thick bodies. Jumping spiders have eight short legs attached to the front of their body. One set of the legs are made for jumping. They also have a pair of pedipalps, which is used to grab prey. Between the pedipalps are the chelsery, to which the fangs are attached. Colors. Most jumping spiders don't have bright colors, but they do have fancy patterns and designs. The regal jumping spider is almost completely brown. The front part of the body is red. It has eye-like markings on the abdomen. The daring jumping spider is black with white and the abdomen on legs. It also has bright green chelsery. One of the boldest colored jumping spiders is the green lesomanes from the southeastern United States. Its body is bright green like most spiders. Its camouflage color hides it from its predators. This jumping spider is brightly colored. Where they live, jumping spiders are found in many habitats. They are especially common in sunny areas. You can often find a jumping spider in your own garden. Because of their jumping skills, these spiders can live in both high and low habitats. If you do spot one, it may jump and be gone at, in a blink of an eye. Jumping spiders don't spin webs. They use silk from their spinnerets to line shelters under bark, rocks, and leaves. A jumping spider making silk inside a leaf. Senses. Jumping spiders and humans have the same five senses. Like most spiders, jumping spiders have eight eyes. The two front eyes are very large and they can see clearly for distances of several inches or more. Since they are active during the day, eyesight is very important to them. Jumping spiders can also taste and smell the world around them. They use their mouth and the ends of their two pedipalps and legs to taste and smell. This jumping spider from New Guinea has two large pedipalps which help it taste and smell. Defense. Jumping spiders use camouflage to defend themselves against their enemies. 
Even brightly colored species like the green lasso maze are hard to see in their habitat. Other species like the regal jumping spider can blend in with the ground or tree bark. Jumping spiders may also rear back in the threat position to frighten predators. If ALS fails, they can simply jump away from their enemy. Some species can jump as far as 40 times their own body length. Jumping spiders blend into their surroundings. This helps them to hide from their enemies. Food. Jumping spiders are among the best hunters in the spider world. Their excellent eyesight helps them spot movement from, from a long distance. They can see their prey clearly from about one foot away. Food items include many insects and spiders. Once the prey has been seen, the spider stops it. When the prey is close enough, the spider will jump and grab it. As it jumps, it trails a silken lifeline behind it. This lifeline is anchored and keeps the spider from falling. A jumping spider eating an insect. Babies. All jumping spiders hatch from eggs. They are laid in an egg case made by the female. She will guard the egg case against any enemy that might threaten it. Once the eggs have hatched, the tiny spiderlings go their own way. As they grow, the babies shed their skin. This is called molting. It is often hard to tell the skin from the spider who shed it. This spider egg case has been cut open to show the eggs.